uh, just before we get started with the questions, I just wanted to thank Seattle Kraken for the last three years. Um, Ron Francis, Todd Liewicki have nothing but great things to say about the organization, and it was a really great experience for me. And I'm uh, very, very excited to take on this role uh, and happy that Jim has brought me on. Awesome. And uh, for all the media on the call, please raise your hand if you do have a question. We'll take our first one here from Patrick Johnston, Post Media. Hey, Cami, congratulations. Um, can you just sort of take us through the timeline of how this all happened? Was this the first time the Canucks had talked to you and, and sort of when did things start getting real? Um, I, th I would say in the last week, uh, last week, maybe eight or nine days, um, started the talk started and um, Seattle was gracious enough to let me talk to Jim and uh, Jim and I had some great conversations and he had a lot of wonderful things to say about what his vision is and uh, he's a great person. So it was really exciting to hear about the opportunity. Didn't sleep a lot this week after, you know, a lot of nights thinking about taking the job and, and how it all work. And um, that's sort of the timeline that, that, it, it, that happened. What did working with Seattle add to your skill set? You know, how are you now ready to be an AGM where perhaps you might not have been a couple of years ago? Sure. Yeah. I think it helped in, tremendously. Um, just kind of immersing myself in learning the league, learning the players, building a database for Seattle, uh, watching games over and over, writing thousands of reports, uh, sitting in on scouting meetings, sitting in with the management team, listening, watching, learning. I mean, all of that prepped me for, you know, to walk into this role. And, and one of the things that I had said, you know, coming in here is, you know, I haven't done this job before, but I have great people surrounding me. I have a lot of experience in the game and definitely the experience with Seattle has helped me prepare. We'll take our next question from Jeff Patterson, Rinkwide Podcast. Hey, Cammy, congratulations on the job. Uh, we've all seen you in the press box at Rogers Arena an awful lot in your capacity with the Kraken. Uh, I'm sure you have written reports on Canuck players and, and uh, how much organizational intelligence do you think you have just from being around this team so much? Well, the, the nice part is I, 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 I'm walking in knowing a lot about the team because I did scout the, uh, sorry, the Canucks a lot, um, over the, over the course of time with the Kraken and the Pacific division was, was one I honed in on. And that's, and I did a lot of my scouting here because I do live here. So, uh, that helps a lot. Also, you have been able to create so many opportunities for yourself in the game of hockey, the children's book. For now, you've got the podcast, you've got your name on tournaments and showcases and help grow uh, the game in so many places. Are you able to continue with some of those or is this a new chapter in your life where you only have to sort of focus all of your energies on this one job? Well, this one job is the most important and it's going to be in the forefront. On my own time, I can work on some of those things. I mean, helping with the tournament or just showing up for a day or two uh, to support the women is something that Jim is supporting as well and in, in the Canucks. So um, I can keep uh, doing some of those endeavors, but on my own time. Um, but my biggest focus right now is just to, to start working on Monday and, and get, get right to it. We'll move along to Ian McIntyre, Sportsnet. Hi, Cammy. Congratulations. Thanks, Ian. Uh, when uh, I asked uh, Emile Castengay about uh, her journey, uh, she said she her her journey through hockey she always viewed in non-binary terms. Yet, of course, that hiring, your hiring, they seem to represent something bigger that's that's happening in the game. Do you feel that yourself, or are you like you know Emily that you've this is just your path and it doesn't seem exceptional to you that you're now a woman as an assistant GM in the NHL? Um, I think it's it's a little bit of both. I think um, for sure it's a really big day to have two women in management on one team. Um, just goes to show Jim's vision to sort of diversify, get different voices, get different uh, people's experience and draw them together. Um, so I think it's it's something to celebrate uh, looking at two women on a, on a management team. It really is. But at, on the other hand, you know, maybe this conversation will change and um, 10 years, it won't be a big deal or five years. It won't be a big deal when, when other teams do the same and, and follow suit. And, um, you know, I'm a hockey player. I, I, I always define myself as a hockey player growing up. It was other people that defined me as a girl trying to play a man's game. So I'm used to that sort of you know view, but for me, that's not, I identify myself, you know, and, and hockey has been a part of my life since I was, you know, I was pretty much born into it. So, um, I'm confident 
in, in that. And I'm, but I do think it's, it is a bit, a bit of a celebration today, but, but after that, it's just, you know, we're going to get to work like everybody else on this team. And, and that's what it's about. And I know that you, you had some other uh, opportunities uh, before Seattle came along and maybe during Seattle as well, but you're, you loved Vancouver and this is where you're raising your family. Uh, why is this, why is this the right opportunity for you now? What, what excites you about this? Well, I mean, there's a lot to be excited about. Um, you mentioned, you know, me living here. I mean, that I've lived here for 20 years. Um, and to be able to work here uh, in this capacity is extremely exciting. Um, and I didn't, you know, I didn't frankly think it was possible at all. And I was always, you know, could I move my kids somewhere? Should we, should we, you know, should I take this opportunity here and there? And it all came down to me just wanting to have, you know, to be here, uh, raise my kids while I could when they were young. And, um, you know, I didn't turn down jobs in this capacity at all. I know that's never been offered. So it was more about like just getting back into the game when I was ready. And Seattle's upper, the opportunity in Seattle was the one that presented itself and it was perfect because I was able to do a lot of my scouting here. Um, but when this job came my way and just, you know, talking to Jim and his vision, um, I mean, I'm just so excited about it. And, and, and being in my backyard is just, it makes it even, even better. Next is Gemma Karsten Smith, Canadian Press. Hi, Cammie, congrats on the new gig. Um, what is it about Vancouver's team uh, what do you think that the Canucks need to be able to take that next step and move forward? Well, I mean, that's the stuff we'll be working on and, and are working on. Um, we have a, a young, skilled, you know, a nice base of, of young, skilled players. And I think our job is is to build the championship team. And that's what we'll be focusing on. And you talked about being excited about Jim's vision. What in particular is it about his vision that, that really grabbed you and, uh, and made you uh, want to take this role? I think it's the the idea of collaboration. Um, I'm a team player. I've I've uh, I, I grew up in a team environment right from the start, and you know that was one of the first things Jim talked about was how collaborative we'll all be, how all voice will all voices will be heard on any uh, leadership hockey ops um, things that come up. And I really love that idea that we can all work together just uh, on a flat level together and, and share all our ideas, and that's really really exciting. And I think a, a super healthy way to uh, to run a team. Next is Carol Schramm, Forbes Sports. Hi, Cami. Uh, congratulations on the gig and uh, very exciting to see you here today. Um, when I spoke to you a few days ago, we were talking about the possibility of seeing more women coming into NHL roles after these Olympics have concluded. Um, do you think that uh, this position for you um, is going to be the start of a bit of a tide going forward? I do. I do think there's a, there's definitely, you know, you now can look at the position of, of someone that's qualified and not just think it's a, a man's role. I mean, there's, there's women that are qualified. There's players like you just mentioned that will come out of these Olympics that will retire and, and be able to be in, in roles in the NHL. And I do think you're going to see more of it. I do think, um, you know, it, it's an exciting time and um, yeah, I, 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 I truly believe that there'll be, there'll be more coming and in, in more hires. So that's. Um, and, and how special is it to be coming in at this time of year with the trade deadline just a few weeks away and, uh, you know, presumably a lot of action on the horizon around the league um, in terms of what's going to happen and sort of what you know about players that you've seen from your scouting. Yeah, no, it's, it's really, really exciting. I think, I think anytime I would step in this role, I'd be excited, but there's a, you know, there's a lot going on right away, like you mentioned. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get started and get to know everybody and, and learn from Jim and, and, and all the people around. I mean, I'm surrounded by great people with Derek and RJ and the, the Sedines and Patrick and, and Jim. I mean, it's in, in Stan. I mean, we, there's just a number of great people, great hockey minds, people with tons of experience, and I can't wait to, uh, to get started. We have one more question queued up at the moment. That's Daniel Wagner, Glacier Media. Hi, Cami. Congratulations. Uh, just uh, you have obviously have a, a lot of hockey knowledge, but you're stepping into a leadership role where you're going to be managing a lot of people. And you were a captain of Team USA for a decade. And so I want to know, what is your leadership philosophy and how can you apply that to your new role? Yeah, for me, I've, I've always been a team first uh, mentality. Um, I've always, 
you know, just pride myself on personal skills, like so like just having good relationships with with my teammates. Um, I think I'm pretty good at analyzing uh, people and and what needs what the needs are. Um, so from that standpoint, that was sort of my leadership. I wasn't one that would you know go and have a you know a long speech in the locker room before the game. It was more just my my personal relationships with my individual teammates, and then knowing it, knowing that I had their backs. So you know I'll draw on I'll draw on that experience, and I think um, the pressure situations too, and the challenges that I faced as a player, as a captain going to the Olympics, I can, I can draw on that as well in these challenges. And, and I can also know that I'm, I, I don't have to admit, I know everything. Like it's not who I am. Like I, I have a lot to learn with uh, under gym and um, super excited about all the challenges that will come my way and, and know that we can get it done collectively. And you've talked about really liking Jim's vision that he has for the team. And you talked about having different voices coming from different backgrounds. So what unique perspective do you think your background brings to this management group? Um, you know, I don't, I, I don't know, you know, everyone else's background. I just know from, for me, I have a lot to draw on. I mean, my, my brothers have been in the game uh, at a professional level, at a collegiate level, at an Olympic level. Uh, I've, I've played in, in a lot of different, um, you know, different, different levels and had a lot of experience. I've, I've now worked as a scout for three years. So I think, you know, I'd, I'll draw on all that and, and that's the way it'll, it'll be. And we'll take our last one here from Rob Simpson, Vancouver Hockey Now. Hey, Cami, uh, congratulations. Thank you. It's a little bit sneaky. Uh, we <laughs> talked, talked to you in the press box not too long ago. Um, I'm just curious about that first. Did you have any inkling? I, I think I caught the very first answer you were giving when I jumped on here. So, I mean, this had to be kind of circulating in your head at some point or, or how did it first come? Um, no, no, I mean, I think um, for me, it came kind of quick. It was in, in the last, you know, I think it was like eight or 10 days um, and uh, just had a lot of good conversations with Jim and, and, and I knew it was an opportunity that I just couldn't pass up and really excited for. So yeah, that was, that's kind of how it came about. And, and what's the reaction? We know Ray's reaction. What about, uh, Tony and Don, what are they, and this puts you a little higher, I think, on the family pecking order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't, I haven't used that one on them, but maybe, maybe I'll put that in there for when I, when I need to. But uh, no, they obviously super excited. My whole family's excited. I have a amazing support system with my five siblings and my parents, and feel super lucky that that I have them. And uh, everybody was was really thrilled. And um, I, you know, I, I lean on Tony and Donnie a lot, and and vice versa. We talk a lot about the game and. Um, it's, it's, you know, I'm really happy to have that support system too, uh, with the family. Great. That will conclude our media availability with Canucks assistant general manager, Cami Granado. Thank you, Cami. And thank you everyone else for joining us. Thank you.